Okay, in this video, we're going to continue with adding posts and we're going to add pictures to our posts. Um, you could just go ahead and add a new post for this, but I thought I'd show you at this point how you can actually edit posts. If you go into all posts, you can see the one we've just added, which is our year seven uh, boys football in this case. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to edit it. And you see we're back where we were for this one here. Now to add pictures, there's two ways you can do this. You can do something called a featured image. If you go to the bottom right hand corner, it says here set featured image. I'm going to do that there. And you can either upload a file and s select one from your computer. Or if you've already got one uploaded as I have in this case, I can just click on that when it's ticked. Click set featured image and you'll see it appear in the bottom. Now I'll show you what that does for your post. If I just update that page, if I go back to the class page and just refresh that, you'll see it's added an image in the top left here. Now what the class pages do, they don't show absolutely everything that you put onto a post page. It's just kind of a summary and then you can click into that article for the full details. So when I click in, I get the full text and anything else I've added. So that's where it will put the featured image. It will put it at the top of the article. It's just one image. So that's a very quick way of having an image in there, having it appearing on the overall class page as well. Now, the other way you can add image is using the Add Media option. So say I want to add two or three images. I can simply add them in the article. So I can put my cursor where I want the image to appear and click add media. So again, I can either add one that I've already got in there. So I'm going to add this one, insert into post. And I'm going to upload one as well. So I'm going to select files and I'm going to go for this one here and insert that into my post as well. And there we have both our pictures. Once you have these pictures, you've got some options. So I'm going to align those in the center. And I'm going to make them a little bit bigger as well. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to, again, update. And I'll show you how that affects the overall class page. So if I switch back to the class page, if I refresh on there, you won't see any difference over the overall class page, but once I'm on the actual article, you'll see there's my pictures like so.